this is Stacy. And Tim from Let's Let, Cook Y'all. And Tim from Let's Cook Y'all. <laughs> did I steal your line? You did steal my thunder. But that's okay. We are obviously in the car and I can't hold the camera straight. It's a beautiful day. Tim has very graciously offered to take me out. I have been housebound since my surgery. I got out one time to go to a luncheon with my Bible study buddies and Tim took pity on me and came in from playing golf and said, it's pretty, do you want to get out? And he offered me Chinese Chinese, because he knows the way to my heart. So we were going to eat Chinese and maybe go run an errand or two. We thought we'd bring you along. We haven't done a out of the house daily vlog in a while and see how I feel. If I feel up to it, I've decided that having surgery makes me tired because I don't seem to have a lot of energy these days. Hungry. It makes him hungry, surgery, but the cafeteria food was, oh, it was nasty, he said. But anyway, we are home. We are getting out and we thought we'd bring you along. Thanks for stopping by. Hope everybody's having a wonderful and blessed day. Bye y'all. Bye y'all. Normally we come and order from the menu. This place that we like, it doesn't have a buffet. But this time, since we came at lunch, we decided we'd try the lunch special. Tim ordered creme crab rangoon. I got shrimp with broccoli. And apparently he made somebody mad because he hasn't gotten his food. So like General Tso's is on his way. General Tso's, so you're going to eat all the crab rangoon for your kids here? Mm -hmm. And as soon as I turn the camera off, they brought us General Tso's. It was really fast. And that's what we're having lunch at my favorite place. Smile, sweetheart. <laughs> Somebody's hungry. It was Tim's lucky day. He had two fortunes inside one little cellophane pack. So mine opposite. said, courage is the hallmark of a warrior. And you said these were bad? Oh yeah. He thought they were kind of weak. But he got two. He got two and one. Got They're two the cookies. Opposite. They're what? They're the opposite. One says step, one says jump. One says step, one says jump. Pretty. It was still fun. We're going to show you the Pretty. market attached to this place now. Yeah, I love I'm it confused. here. Always know what all this stuff Kumquats. is. Kumquats. It's yeah, labeled it's garlic. Kumquats I know. I don't know what these are. I don't know if that's a kind of melon or not. Kind of melon. Ginger. I know. They try to help here and tell us what everything is and how much it costs because I don't always know what everything is. I like reading the signs. Quail eggs. Quail eggs. How much are they? Sorry, I missed them. Quail eggs. $1.99. Seaweed. Choy. Yu choy. Gay lime. Tung ho. I'm out of my element. I know pickled garlic. I do not know boiled fern break. And then a lot of ginger. And Tim says, do you know what that is? Because I do not. What is it? Beef meat. Ong choy. choy. I don't know the difference between on choy and bok choy. On choy. Long beans. Nira flowers. A lot of different greens. I'm out of my element here. But it's really cool to look at. Lotus. Masaba. Rice cake slices. I've had rice cake before. Taro. I don't know if that's a banana flower or not. Do you want it? Mm -hmm. What have you had? Rice cake. Rice cakes. Alright, in the frozen section we have quail, stewing hens, rabbits, oxtails, goat, lamb, lamb shoulder, sliced lamb. Sliced beef for however much that is. And there's frozen clams and apple snail meat. And a block of oysters. And roast ducks. Roast ducks and roast pigs. I like to get steamed dumplings in here, but we are running errands and it is 95 outside, so I can't leave anything frozen in the thing, but the prices are a lot better than my other stores. And they taste a lot better.
jellyfish. Where? In the back they have housewares and cooking stuff. And if you want to celebrate, they have a lot of stuff for all their holidays. And I guess when they celebrate they use red light bulbs for something because there's a whole lot of red light bulbs. And when I come here looking for noodles, The noodles are all around this aisle, so I have a hard time trying to figure out which kind of noodle. Oh, these are noodles too, and then all down this aisle, one, two, three, four, four, five shells, everything is a noodle, which I don't always know what kind of noodle I want, and it's never really in, well, sometimes it's in English. We have to stop at Big Lots because Tim has eaten all of my Speculoos cookie butter. I went to get some out the other day, and it was almost empty. Who? Who ate my cookie butter? Is this the only place they have cookie butter? No, but it's cheaper in here. And we also shopped here. We skipped this one. And we skipped Ross. But I got it some stuff in here. And it rained. I don't know if you can see the raindrops on the windshield. Got a little, apparently a little quick shower. And now we're gonna run a couple more errands. I'm getting tired. Are you tired too? I was tired. You were tired when we left the house, and I've been dragging him around, spending his money every store I go in. I broke down the dozens of Amazon Prime boxes that we had. Tim's got to fill up my car for me. We've been using our Kroger points. It's two fifty for the to use all of it, so I bring it down to two dollars a gallon last stop and then we're gonna go home because I'm getting tired tired one reason I like to go to the Chinese restaurant we go to is they have that really big market that we just showed you and, a fat man. <laughs> and I wanted some dried Chinese egg noodles I made some soup a couple of weeks ago that I thought I had egg dried egg noodles and I had vermicelli noodles and they kind of dissolved in the soup so I told him the next time we go over there I was gonna get some noodles that were much thinner he liked these wide ones. They're called Dong Ching Dong. Ching Dong soup noodles. We can't read most of them. Hello. Hello. Speaking Korean. So we got noodles. Fat Man noodles. Fat Man noodles. And we decided since tomorrow is Father's Day and we're going to see some family and Tim's dad that we would try to take some things that maybe none of us had ever tried. So we bought an assortment of some that we have tried. Some that we've tried. We've had the Pocky before. We think I the think kids I've will had like this. it. I think we may have both had it's these been shrimp chips. 50 years. It has. So we got some shrimp chips, two flavors of Pocky, the strawberry and the chocolate. I Hello, got panda. these panda cookies filled with vanilla cream. We got a big container of almond cookies. Because nothing says Chinese. Like nothing says a Chinese buffet restaurant around these parts like an almond cookie at the end. Tim's parents are huge coffee drinkers and I saw this, it said coffee candy. So we wanted to see what those tasted like. And then Tim struck up a conversation with a nice elderly oriental lady in line that she said, Pineapple cake, good, but I make much better. She, she wanted, said she couldn't believe that I would eat them. So, yeah. I mean, I'm really wondering what they're going to taste like. Now. Well, they may not be very good. She wanted to make Tim some. She asked for his phone number. She wanted to make him some authentic pineapple. Well, she said something about going to China. When she goes to China, she was going to bring me some back. Oh, my goodness. I missed that part. I was checking out. So, that's what we got at the Oriental Market. At Sam's, we did not get milk, even though I think Tim's gonna need it in a couple days, but I got me some blueberries to go in my cold oats. Tim, some chocolate syrup. He likes to make, mix up chocolate milk at night, and we're taking, since I'm not really able to cook a lot, our contribution to Father's Day is rolls. So we got those at Sam's, and we didn't get in the house. Tim, Tim has opened up. This was supposed to be my cookie butter. They didn't have regular Speculoos cookie butter like I bought in there last time. Camel. They had. Okay, Tim. You're Head eating, first. You're eating all my stuff again. They had cocoa or chocolate cook cookie butter, so we're trying that one. Is it any good? <laughs> you're eating my cookie butter again. It's supposed to be mine. 
We got this one. I'm fixing to take a Sharpie and write my name on both of these. <laughs> I got regular cookie butter and I did buy me some muesli in there. It was a little pricey, but I can't find it at my Kroger anymore. So that's what we got at Big Lots. At Marshall's, I found four little tops. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep them all. I also found some lemon essential oil, a marked down little solar light that was in the clearance section for $6. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. It has a little solar panel on the top and then some kind of little filament wire and it says it's supposed to be a little twinkle lights. Not sure it's gonna work where I would wanna hang it. Probably doesn't get enough sun, but I got a Lucky t-shirt, kind of a long tunicky one. This is a white and I think navy blue shirt. My sister got one very similar to this, but hers ties on the bottom, whereas this one has a little ruffled fringe, but a little top for summer. This one is the one I'm on the fence about. I really like it, but I've already bought one shirt. This is, I think, I can't even tell, blue and white or black and white. It is really soft and it's basically no sleeves. So it's almost a sleeveless, but it's not as open as this one is, which is a sleeveless tank top kind of thing. It's really cute. Hold on, let me flip it over. It's really cute in the back because it's cut open and it's got a cute little gray, gray and white floral panel. Sorry about the shadow. So four tops, may or may not keep them all, a little solar lantern and some lemon essential oil is what I got at Marshall's. Apparently I felt the need to get something everywhere I went. Poor Tim. Okay, we went a few places. We got out of the house. Tim accomplished his mission. Um, I am completely worn out because I was tired before I left. It seems to take all of my energy these days just to get a shower or bath and cleaned up and try to put on makeup. I don't know what it is about surgery or just laying around for several days, but I have like zero energy and stamina but Tim was very sweet he knew I was wanting to just get out of the house and he he knows the way to my heart it's always Chinese and he let me buy whatever I want all the stores we went to so it was a pretty good day it is not dark or even anywhere close to the end of the day but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here thanks so much for stopping by our channel and hanging out with us we hope you'll like comment and subscribe if you hadn't already and remember have a wonderful and blessed day y'all bye